Hey everyone, Jesse here with Ultratech. Today I'm testing out my Crane M3 and I want to talk about this issue with Galaxy phones and Google Photos. So many of us use that combination to back up our photos and videos. And I personally do not use the default app from Samsung. But there's this one super annoying issue where anytime you take a screenshot, the screenshot gets backed up by Google Photos. And that happens because it's on the location where that folder is placed. Google Photos is unable to tell that it's a screenshot, so it just backs it up. So it, this can be fixed easily by either Samsung or Google, but none of them have fixed it. It's been happening for a few years now, and it's not being fixed. So if somehow this video reaches either Samsung or Google, please step up and be the bigger man and fix it. Now, I also want to show you a workaround with this app called Auto Transfer, where anytime you take a screenshot, this program will automatically move those screenshots to a folder where Google Photos doesn't pick them up. So yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to show you what happens. So let's say we are happily trying to find some articles here that we want to take a screenshot of. And let's take a screenshot. So even though I want the screenshot, I don't want to get backed up by Google. So now if I go to Photos, see it's getting picked up by photos which means it's going to get backed up into my cloud storage and i don't need a copy of this in the cloud if you go to samsung's default gallery app this one is fine it's actually in the screenshots folder right here so it's fine from samsung's point of view but of course we don't want Google Photos to get to pick it up. So if we go to the Google Store, the app that we need to install is called Auto File Transfer. And let's install that and I'll show you how to set that up. Do you want to set it up now? Yes. So it has Allow to, I'm going to do imagine to all files, allow, back. So what we have to do is take off this little option here which says remove permission if app is unused. Turn that off. So it's still saying storage permission is missing. The application will not be able to, to do you want to grant the permission? Let's hit yes. So now what we have to do is add a new task, new task. We're going to do the source folder. We have to find DCIM in internal storage screenshots. Then hit select. So that's the folder. So as you can see, the source folder is storage emulated zero DCIM screenshots. And the destination folder, we have to create a new folder. So I'm going to put it under pictures, create a new folder called screenshots, which I already pre-made right here. And then we're gonna select this. So once we have the source and destination, let's hit save at the top right. And of course I have to give this a name. I hit save on the top right. Let's try changing scan media after file transfer save all right so let's see Take a screenshot give it one second it doesn't appear in photos and voila now we are golden after that change 
So that change we made was, where is it? Scan media after file transfer. So make sure to check that off. So here's the settings again. Source folder storage, emulated zero, DCIM screenshots, destination folder storage, emulated zero pictures, screenshots. And I'm gonna test one more time. Let's just take a screenshot of this. Give it one second. And it instantly worked. Anyhow, I hope this video helps some of you. And Samsung, Google, please fix this already. Enough is enough.